Did you know that over the last hundred years, the U.S. dairy industry has increased milk production in the average cow by nearly 600%? That's like turning six cows into one. That's enough additional milk per cow per year for about 43,000 bowls of cereal, 5,800 sticks of butter, or 29,000 grilled cheese sandwiches. That's a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches. But hey, there are a lot of people out there, and more on the way. So, more milk from fewer cows using fewer resources with less waste. That's efficiency. Now how do they do it? Dairy improvements come down to three words, genetics, management, and nutrition. Let's break it down. Better cows, better education, and better feed leading to better results. All from rigorous study and research of cow health and function. Great stuff, right? It's what some people call progress. But how will dairy improve to meet demand in the future? What is next? Let's take a look at one promising answer. Protein. It's one of the things every cell in a cow's body needs. It's essential to virtually all body functions. Health, reproduction, milk production. Let's remember that word, essential. Now, what makes a protein? Like most things in science, it's made up of smaller things, building blocks. In this case, amino acids. Wow, look at them all. Confusing, right? But wait, remember that word, essential? Those are the kind of amino acids the cow can't make herself, the kind that need to be provided to her. Let's look at those. See, these are the building blocks to additional, more efficient milk production. That's dairy's future. Exciting, right? But wait a second, how does it work? Well, it's all about balance. Because of higher production, cows today require more metabolizable protein and amino acids than they did 100 years ago. This is where the essential amino acids that make up high-quality bypass protein come in. You see, if these essential amino acids are missing, they stop or limit the amount of milk a cow can produce, which is why they're also called limiting amino acids. Makes sense, right? You keep those in balance, provide the cow what she needs, and well... Now, up to this point, most folks in dairy have been focused on two of these amino acids. But let's not forget the others. You see, that is balance. And one key to improving production is finding the answer to the next big question in dairy. What is your next limiting amino acid? Fortunately, there's a new technology that points you in the right direction. It may seem complicated at first, and it is kind of a puzzle. But it's a puzzle with only one question and only one solution. Gemini, what's next?